Hi everyone. I am Dr. Anita, your fertility consultant from Garbagudi IVF Center. Let's have a quick look about what is this PCOS. So in this present day situation or generation, we are hearing many couple or many girls saying PCO, 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 PCO. So what is this PCO? So coming to the infertility, fertility aspect. Infertility, you all know infertility is nothing but unable to achieve pregnancy even after trying for pregnancy, even after trying for one year. So here the female partner may contribute up to 30% of the infertility cases. So in this 30%, most of them like 40 to 50% of the females might be having PCO. What is this PCO? Polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovarian disease. So normally the female should have an egg count of about 8 to 10 or maximum 15 in each ovary. That is the oocyte or follicular count per ovary. If this number exceeds more than 15 per ovary, then we call it as PCO. So what happens in this means they won't be able to ovulate. So if the egg count increases more than 15 per ovary, then they won't be able to ovulate. Even if they ovulate also the quality will be compromised. So such people will have anovulatory cycles. This anovulatory cycles will lead to irregular menstruation. The patients can be thin PCO or obese PCO. So thin PCO, they might have regular or irregular cycles and they might have other features of PCO like hyperandrogenism. That means male hormones will be more in the body. They'll have male pattern of uh, hair distribution and they'll have high testosterone levels. They'll have hyperandrogenic features they will have acanthosis nigrihans, that is black patches over the back of the neck or the face and they might have other features also, hormonal imbalances also. So, or obese PCO also similar, uh, they might be like they will be obese and producing all these features. If one or if two or more than two are persistent, then we call it as PCO. So, such patients, they might face difficulty in achieving pregnancy also. In such cases that a patient is having or a female is having any of these features, better consult the doctor immediately instead of wasting time for natural conception. So meet the doctor, get the evaluation done completely, like which includes thorough physical examination, blood investigations and ultrasound and find out where the cause is. If it is obese PCO, the management will be weight management. First, they have to concentrate on reducing the weight by exercise, lifestyle modifications, food habits and other medications which can help them go through this. And if thin PCO, they also have to go for exercise, medications, yoga, stress management and other things because stress is the main cause for PCO in thin pa patients and hormonal imbalances. In obesity, it is weight management. The obesity leads to PCO and PCO vice versa also can cause obesity and other hormonal disturbances. So once this is diagnosed, the treatment is simple. Either they can go for laparoscopy if too many follicles are there and too many hormonal imbalances, go for laparoscopy and ovarian drilling. Thereby we can evaluate the tubes also. And after following the laparoscopy and ovarian drilling, they can go for simple modes of treatment like ovulation induction or IUI, intrauterine insemination. Or else they can directly go for ovulation induction if they are not responding for ovulation induction in the two to three cycles, later also they can go for laparoscopy and ovarian drilling provided the tubes are evaluated prior. So if not, if multiple cycles fails, uh, they have to concentrate on their weight management and they can go for, for advanced treatments also. So uh, females having any irregular cycles, obesity, anovulatory cycles, hyperandrogenic features. So don't waste time by just waiting for the spontaneous conception. Meet the doctor and get treated. Thank you.